Yes, it is true, you read the title correctly. The devs have released a second teaser for this new update of the Chaos Insurgency. It's pretty amazing. From I've already watched the video, it looks amazing. I, I just decided to record it now. I should have got my first reaction, but that's a sorry on my end. Anyways, I'm just gonna watch this. straight out of a horror game, jeez. What? Wait. <laughs> I know I did the same thing in the last episode, but still, I, I got to take a closer look at this. <laughs> Wait, I got to pause out the very exact frame. <laughs> He's just floating into an ape that is single-handedly more terrifying than that thing chasing you. It's just standing there floating and ape posing. It's like that one meme where the guy's, that, that figure is just sticking to the ceiling. And he's just chasing after Jeez. I'm, I'm gonna keep playing it. So that was nice, uh, going back. So the first part that I want to point out is the fact that the first person, first person is now a thing or going to be a thing. Look at this. Let me just... So look at the detail. So you can clearly tell it's, it's like a red dot sight on this, this specific gun. Uh, I want better lighting. So then, you can't see the red dot on that, but, oh, come on, I gotta pause this on the perfect frame. So then this is like a red dot site. From another thing that Meta keeps teasing in the general chat of SCP Roleplay, there's also like gonna be an iron sight one. He apparently had to fix the bugs with that. It looks cool, it looks really cool. And then, uh, so I'm guessing in this update, instead of it being like actually chaos related, it's going to be about the ADS system of aiming down first person. We've been in third person too long. Meta is adding a system for first person. Honestly, it looks kind of cool. And then if we're to go right over here. The music's so intense in this area, geez. So like if you if you see closely the camera's shaking a little as if the character's like actually breathing and moving around instead of the gun being fixed in one position. Which I really like. Instead of like it just being stuck in one position constantly and not being it's it's giving more realism to the game, which I also like. And then let's go over here. Where he actually starts shooting the thing. 
god, this music is so loud. So now there's recoil. As you can see, the gun goes up and down, bounces. It's not like actual like serious recoil where it goes like insane, but I think it's pretty decent recoil of the first person like addition to the game. I feel like more realistic role plays can be done and all that. I am going to have fun with this first person shooter system. It's like imagine if they had sliding and everything. Be like, and they have to add corner peeking now. <laughs> Imagine if they added corner peeking like Rainbow Six. I don't know if any of you guys ever played that, but Rainbow Six, where you can like press E or Q and then you can like dodge to the left and then the right, and you flip over and over again. Corner peeking easy is that that'd be kind of cool to be added. And seeing as that's an out soon, I'm gonna make the same joke I did in the last video <laughs> out soon as in soon as in a week or soon as in a month. Hopefully, it's gonna be still in this month, and so is the other thing. Maybe they're all gonna get released. Hopefully, I think that would be really good. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. It's just a quick teaser. Don't I don't own any of this. Go support Alex, Meta, the devs. They they put a lot of hard work into this. Everyone, the, the children are complaining. Why why no update? Why no update? Because they've been working on this amazing masterpiece. So anyways, Razor here. Peace.